Okay, good afternoon. Welcome. Today I am going to be offering a reflection about holding the space for your partner. When you do that, it helps them to go deeper and heal some deep wounds. <coughs> so, enjoy. Okay, so today we've had a snowy day and it is cold here. And last night um, my wife and myself were spending an evening together and my wife was upset about something and she said a few things which on one level I could take as being hurtful I could take them personally and yet what I've learned over the years is not to react is actually to respond and so rather than answer to react and say you can't say that about me, I listened. And what I found happened is that beneath the, um, the criticisms, beneath the, the hurtful words, was someone who was hurting. And once I listened and once I heard her, then what happened is she then softened and the tears came up. And what's been bothering her for a few days started to melt away. And a pattern that she's working through at the moment was able to be uh, released and what I find in relationships is oftentimes one person will say to another something hurtful they've had a bad day and they don't mean it but they're just in that space they're carrying the energy of the day and they say something hurtful and while it's best that you know we learn as you know in relationship to not react and say these things sometimes it happens and especially for men because I'm speaking from a man's perspective, it's really important that we have compassion for our, our women, our partners. And rather than trying to fix them, we hold the space for them. Because when we do, then they're able to heal that. They're then able to move through the thing that they're, they were bothered by. If we try and fix, if we try and say, no, this is wrong, this is wrong about you, or, you know, don't say this, it's like your wife, your partner, comes in with the energy of the day, she's upset about that, or whatever it is, and then this is compounding it, then she's got a conflict with you. Whereas, if you can just hold the space, then there's no conflict between you, you love her, you know, so last night I was in a you know, good space and I was just giving her lots of love and she said to me at one point, you know, um, I don't want to hear that you're in a good space. And rather than taking it personally, it was like, okay, that's fine. It's this, we don't get into a space of, um, you know, trying to, starting a fight really, we're not adding to that. So really the reflection today is if your partner is upset, if you're, you know, you're in relationship and the other person's upset, it's like learning to hold the space. What does that look like? It's like rather than trying to fix them, rather than trying to tell them they're wrong, rather than getting angry at them, you just open your heart, you feel them, you feel into them, you feel that oh, they're really not in a good space and your heart softens, and it's like we know, maybe it's to say nothing, maybe it's to hold them, maybe it's to say some beautiful words. And if they react to that, it's not to take it personally. So, just a few reflections today, really, that if this is happening in your life, then, you know, for me, learning to, yeah, respond differently stop reacting and start to respond and then you'll notice your relationship start to flourish and you start to heal and move through things so. okay so have an amazing weekend and thank you very much for watching please do comment below any questions about relationships or any queries you might have so many blessings to you okay bye for now